Hello and welcome back. So today we will talk about a very important concept that is a test ng XML file. The test ng XML file is a very important uh, concept, it's a very important file in order to execute your uh, automation test cases. Okay. So before actually working on test ng XML file, you need to understand what is test ng, how to install test ng in Eclipse IDE. If you have not seen my previous videos where I have explained about test ng in detail, if you could just see those videos, then you will be able to relate this particular concept. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this is my Maven project. You can see there are Maven dependencies available here. And this is my Maven project sample one. So in this sample one project, uh, there are, uh, you can see there are six classes, right? Every class, if I open, there are some test method. As you can see, this is the test method. Okay. So second class is also having some test method. These are my test cases basically. Okay. And if I open the third one, class name located or Java, even this class also has one test method. Okay. At the rate test. Then similarly, if I open all the classes, every class has some test method. So now what happens is now let's say uh, how do you normally run your test cases? Okay, we run your test class basically by right clicking on it and we go to run as and we just run as test ng test or we can simply uh, do run all. Okay, so that is the generic way that is the normal way of running a particular test class a test class dot Java file. Okay, but imagine a case you have so many test classes right you have 10 classes 20 classes 30 classes and every class is having so many test methods if i have to run all of them i cannot uh, execute one class then go to the other class and manually click on that i don't want to do all these things so those are basically time consuming thing okay that is not the standard process so what i can do is i have to club all these test classes into a certain file okay that file is called as testng.xml file so you will uh, be able to relate this concept let me do one thing i'll show you how to create the testng.xml file then i will explain about this so here as you can see so if i right click on this particular class okay i can click on any of the class okay so if i do right click and i go to testng option here and i click on convert to testng option so as you can see what you can see you can see that uh, there is a sample XML file getting generated. Okay. And uh, this is under the location. This is the project sample one and testng.xml. So it is going to get created by the name, default name, testng.xml file under the project that you are working on. Okay. It will get created here. So what is it taking? Since I have clicked on a particular class, that's why you can see this class name is also coming up here along with the package. The package is pkg dot the class name class name dot java is coming up okay this is the class name and this is the class name tag right it is the open tag and is the closed tag and these are the information about this xml file and the suite name is suite okay and there are some information like name test and uh, this is the, the default name and the suite name is default uh, suite name you can change it so i'll go with the default name for now okay and i'll just click on next and i'll click on finish so as you can see, as soon as I have clicked on finished and it is creating a file that is testng.xml file. So this is the file I was referring to. Okay. I have created this testng.xml file by right clicking on this particular class name. I have not selected all of them. So that is the reason I'm getting only one class name information. So what does it mean is that this particular class name is now inside this .xml file, testng.xml file okay so basically what happens is as soon as you do right click on this testng.xml file and go to run as you can see the option testng suite not as testng test earlier if you just right click on it you will get option testng test okay but on this testng.xml file if you right click you will get the option as a testng suite because it has become a suite now Okay, because testng xml is to run your test in a suite okay but you must be thinking why i'm just giving only one class because i can simply run from here itself why i need to keep uh, only one class in a testng xml file correct so i don't have to use testng xml file just to run one class that's why we have to go with multiple classes so let me delete this and i'll recreate the testng xml file okay let me delete this and what i'll do is instead of selecting only one class i'll click on this particular 
package name itself then i will right click and i'll go to test ng option again then i'll convert to test ng again so now you can see all the class names are coming off here okay as you can see the class name assertions and uh, sample one look login page test then find links this one annotation and class name locator okay the xml file itself will make the sequence so this is the sequence okay starting with this class then followed by this one like that all the six classes are categorized in this particular xml file so there are options like class selection whether you, you whether you want to run at uh, class level or you want to run at package level okay if i just click on packages it means that the class name will not be reflected here so it means that if you run this xml file it will take all the classes under that particular package okay if you go with the class level it means that out of these six classes if you want to remove any of the class that also you can do okay i'll finish off this so now if i open this testng.xml file you can see all the classes are getting added here if i want to remove a few of the classes here i can remove and it means that out of the six classes only my four classes the given four classes will be run okay uh, first i will show you by running all the classes so uh, let me just uh, let you know that how many uh, methods are available inside all these six classes so as you can see there is one here okay and if i open the second class it has uh, three it means one plus three four and if i go to the third class it has one so four plus one five and uh, if i go to this one we have one so five plus one six and if i go to this one and i have one more seven then last we have one eight so total there are eight test methods so if i want to run all of these eight methods so i can simply do it from the test ng xml file i'll just right click on this particular xml file and i'll go with run as test ng suite and i'll show you how it is running all the classes one by one it will run in a sequence basically okay so as you can see my test started so at the end of the result i can show you that all the six classes will be executed and all the test method will also be executed okay so now it is running the test so as you can see the first one assertions is basically executed and out of the three test method two are failed okay because that test test cases are mean to be failed so then it is going to the second one second class that is sample hello one as you can see this is passed okay after this is uh, completed then it will go to the login page test so as you can see the third class is also executed now it is going to the fourth one so fourth one is finding the links all the links are printed and it is going to the fifth one so basically all my tests are completed as you can see total eight tests run so there are total eight methods as i told you out of which six are passed and two are failure the failures are these two okay so it means that all my six classes got executed with the help of this testng.xml file in a sequence manner this is the one way of using the testng.xml file so now let me do one thing i will uh, remove few classes from this xml file so i want to run only the first two i want to remove the remaining four okay so i can remove now if i run this test it is going to run only the given two classes so let me open this also so as you can see test is running and so the first one is run and it is going to the second one so second one this one and it is also passed okay so now as you can see both the test classes are executed so these two test classes are given in the xml file test ng xml file okay that's why it has run only these two classes okay so now we will go with the package level okay so for that what i'll do it i will uh, remove this particular test ng xml file and i'll uh, right click on it and i will go to again test ng and i'll go to, to convert to test ng option so there i can uh, instead of class selection i will go with packages so as you can see as i have selected uh, the packages option so it has given me the name of the package that is uh, pkg1 this is this one so it means that all the classes whichever if there are 100 classes also it will consider all the 100 classes so this is the meaning of the class selection as packages 
So one more thing here, uh, the testng.xml file can be also renamed, okay? That by default, it is testng.xml, but we can always rename, okay? So now I will click on finish, okay? Now, uh, as soon as I have opened this testng.xml file, I can see the new testng.xml file is having the package name because I have selected package level one, okay? So now if I run this code, then it will consider all the six classes again and it will run all the six classes in a sequence manner, okay? So the test has started and uh, it will execute all the six classes, all the classes available. Okay, my two classes are executed. Okay, it has executed the third one also. It will execute the remaining also. Okay, so the fourth one is executed, the find links. Login page test is also executed. So it has completed the sixth one also. Okay, so as you can see, sample hello one dot Java is also executed. So you can use basically whichever is applicable in your case. Okay, you can go with uh, the class level or you can go with the package level uh, as well. Okay, so in case if you want to run all these classes uh, parallelly, for that you have to uh, basically select the parallel uh, option. So for that, let me show you. Uh, you just need to do. So let me create. Okay, so here inside that in the XML file, you have to give the parallel mode as a class, test, or method. You can select any of the option. Okay. So as you can see, the parallel options are getting added here in the XML file. And you can also give the thread count if you want. If you have too many classes, in that case, you can uh, manage your thread count. Okay. And you can also change the test name and the suite name. And once this is saved and run, all your test cases, all your test classes will be run parallelly on different browsers. Okay. On multiple browsers. So this is the concept of test ng XML file and it is very useful if you want to maintain your test, if you want to control your test. It saves a lot of time. Well, I hope you have understood the topic. If you have any questions, any doubts, please drop those in the comment section. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please do subscribe to my channel and I'll come up with a new topic. Thank you. Thanks for watching.